World War III is the fifth episode of the first series of the British science fiction television programme Doctor Who which was first broadcast on BBC One on 23 April 2005. It is the second of a two-part story which began with Aliens of London on 16 April. In the episode, set in London, the alien time traveller the Ninth Doctor, Christopher Eccleston and his companion Rose Tyler, Billy Piper, team up with Rose's boyfriend Mickey Smith, Noel Clark, her mother Jackie, Camille Coduri, and Member of Parliament Harriet Jones, Penelope Wilton, to foil the plan of the alien Slatheen family from selling the Earth for commercial purposes. The Slatheen, who have infiltrated the government of the United Kingdom, plan to get the United Nations to release nuclear activation codes so they can trigger World War III on Earth and sell the remains. Topic. Plot Mickey Smith is able to push aside the imposter police inspector advancing on Jackie Tyler in Jackie's flat. Escaping the electrical pulse of the Slatheen in 10 Downing Street, the Ninth Doctor attempts to get the police, but by the time he has returned the Slatheen get back into their suits. The Doctor escapes to the upper floors of Downing Street and reunites with Rose and Harriet in the cabinet rooms. Just before sealing off the rooms, the Doctor confronts the Slatheen and learns that they are a family rather than a race. The Slatheen tell him that they are not invading Earth but raiding it for some commercial purpose. Making contact with Mickey, the Doctor gives him instructions on how to log into the unit website on his computer. The Doctor uses the information to determine that the Slatheen ship is presently in the North Sea transmitting a signal. After the Doctor figures out the Slatheen are weak to acetic acid, Jackie and Mickey use vinegary food from Mickey's flat to kill the fake police inspector. Green and the other Slatheen declare a matter of national security and request that the United Nations release the activation codes to launch a nuclear strike against a fictitious mothership. The Doctor realizes that the Slatheen actually plan to fire the weapons against other countries in order to start World War III. The Slatheen plan to sell the Earth's radioactive remains as a fuel source, which they have already begun advertising through the signal. Through Harriet's insistence, the Doctor helps Mickey to hack into the controls of a Royal Navy submarine and fire a missile at 10 Downing Street, even though the Doctor is unsure whether they will survive. The Slatheen are caught in the explosion when the missile hits but the Doctor, Rose, and Harriet all survive. With the Prime Minister dead, the Doctor suggests that Harriet could become Prime Minister. The Doctor gives Mickey a CD to upload to the internet that will remove all mentions of the Doctor from the web. He also privately offers Mickey the chance to come travel with him, but Mickey admits that he is too scared to handle it. He asks the Doctor not to tell Rose about his concerns. Rose arrives with a full backpack and asks the Doctor if Mickey can come along, and the Doctor covers for him. Topic. Production According to Russell T. Davies, among others, this episode was called Aliens of London, Part 2, until the last minute, when the name was changed to World War III, soon amended to World War III. The Telos Publishing Limited. Book back to the Vortex sites. 10 Downing Street. As another working title. This decision has proved to be a precedent, as in the original series all multi-episode stories shared a title from The Savages onwards. All multi-episode stories in the new series have continued to have individual titles except the end of time. Topic. Cast notes Lachelle Carl reappears as the American reporter seen in Aliens of London. She is later seen in The Christmas Invasion, The Sound of Drums, The Poison Sky, Turn Left, The Stolen Earth, and the Sarah Jane Adventures story Revenge of the Slatheen. In Turn Left, it is revealed that her name is Trinity Wells. She also appeared in the spin-off Torchwood, in the five-episode serial Children of Earth. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Topic: Broadcast and reception. World War III. Received a final rating of 7.98 million viewers in the United Kingdom. Like the first part of the story, World War III has received generally mixed reviews. Arnold T. Blumberg of Now Playing gave the episode a grade of C+, finding it slightly better than Aliens of London, because it minimized the juvenile Humor associated with the Slatheen and had good performances by the actors portraying them, though some of the effects were lacking. He criticized the direction and thin resolution of the unit missile operated from a home computer, but he praised the storyline with Rose's family, highlighting the performances of Clark and Koduri. In 2013, Patrick Mulkern of Radio Times felt that Wilton's performance as Harriet Jones was the best part of the flashy but silly, disappointing story. He praised Rose's storyline due to the vivid characters, though he found Eccleston's performance lacking. He also was critical of the Slatheen as believable monsters to be taken seriously. The AV Club reviewer Alastair Wilkins gave the episode a grade of B. He found the problem to be more in the execution than conception. There was a possibility of satire in the fart jokes of the Slatheen, but the direction and performances let it down. Because it veered close to being silly and not taking the Slatheen seriously, he argued that the televised version did not display its more nuanced parts, like each Slatheen having individuality, the exploration of the human race knowing about extraterrestrials, and Rose's home life. Wilkins also questioned why the Slatheen would invade a country that required the UN's permission to launch nuclear missiles. In Who is the Doctor? A Guide to the Revived Series, Graham Burke noted that the story was loved and hated by fans in equal measure. But it was an unexpected delight for him. He found the Slatheen's humor to work on many levels and highlighted the domestic conflict and the performances. Burke's co-author Robert Smith called it the closest the new series and Davies ever gets to pastiching the classic series most beloved writer, Robert Holmes. He also praised the domestic situation, though he found the political satire, one note, and the direction disappointing. World War III, he described as, slight, on plot with improbable internet-ready missiles, but the ending was still, wonderful and Eccleston's performance of the more serious material sold the episode, 